Give us an intro. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we have Sean Foy with us. Thank you for joining us, man. Oh, yeah. Absolute. Have you seen his work? Yeah. What do you think? It's pretty sick. <laughs> it's interesting, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like that shit, though. Yeah, it's I like interesting. Shit, I feel like whenever Danny does the official, we're on. It's like weird. Yeah. Yeah. I felt the jolt of like that anxious chest feeling. I appreciate wow. you doing that to me. Yeah. Maybe you oh. should just like do it throughout the show. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just All right, we're good. First right here, you get a little under titty sweat real quick, dog. Like in 20 minutes, just be like, and we're on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes your guys' oh. work right there. There's that, there's that stay up late right there. Sean, you have like a preference for... Like, you have a, a, a tat name or a... <laughs> oh, no, I'm like a real human being. I cool. just go by Sean, dude. Cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I'm not I like agree with those ways. or Scrappy yeah. or Crash or something like that. I, like, you know? Do you have a tat name, Cam? No. Do you want one? No. <laughs> I think if you get a tat name, you have to, like, wear sunglasses inside. Yes. All the time. You yes. know what I'm talking about, dude? Yeah. yeah like. <laughs> Yes. And we if know you're exactly. white, you have to have, like, product in. If you're, like, Hispanic, you have to shave your head bald, like, real shiny, dude. Yeah. And Those then, are the like, rules. I feel like if you're, like, a black dude that's got a tat name, you got to wear, like, like a metal shit, like, Ooh, like rocker yeah. shit, dog. Yeah. But be black. So it's, like, a country. But they all got... You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> one thing in common. It's got to be, like, a flip, dude. You, you know got one I mean? thing in yeah. common, sunglasses. Yeah, like, if you're, if you're a white dude with the tat name, you got to be, like, a Chad with that, like, Dragon Ball Z shit with the sweatband, right, dude? You know what I'm talking about? I think that's the move. Have you ever wore one of those things? No. The the Nike sweatband? Yeah. Oh, dude. You know how old I am, dog? I'm 38. We definitely wore that, (laughs) bro. I had a Jordan one, like, on the side, dude, like, with a throwback. Dunks when I dunks were coming back originally, like, 05, tall T, white T shit. Yeah, dude, definitely. Just before I discovered, you should bring that dude. back. <laughs> yeah, just before. Well, I if I lose the weight, I plan on doing. I already bought jeans that are very 05 style, yeah. dude. Yeah, because I figure if I'm like fading into middle age, I might as well like just embrace how embrace old. I am. Dude, there's a you point I mean? where you could just you ex- socially acceptable to do whatever you want. Yeah, like I'm you hit an there. age. I'm almost, close. Yeah, I'm close. Dude, right, you know, and then it becomes a style. Yeah, which is funny because it's just whatever you want. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember a couple clients, they flew from, like, California or something, and, like, they look at my tattoos, and they think I'm, like, into, like, metal and yeah. show up like this. Yeah. And they're like, is this the guy that does the teeth and shit, dude? Right. Like, are we... You're like, where's your I'm like, oh, nails? yeah, dog, yeah, for sure, dude. And they're like, anyway, I want a Disney character. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure, dude. That's Orlando, dude, you know what I mean? So how long you been in Orlando? Um, well... All right, so we moved here uh, in 2021 because all the shit that was going on, I wanted my kids to be able to go to yeah, school, yeah. you know. And um, I worked at my buddy Skeety's shop in Orlando, like a little private studio, and it, but it was just one room, and it was two of us, and, like, if I had needed to work another day, he would have to cancel his or vice versa, so it was, like, tricky. Oh, okay. And then my wife was pregnant, so I just, like, straight up rented a little little condo in Daytona and, like, tattooed from there, so I was close. Yeah, you know? just made it happen. Yeah, and then, like, I went to another, where Lara works, that was here, Anthony yeah. Lara. I worked with him for a little bit there. Um, but it was, like, one of those things where people would come in and they, you know, they wanted to get my stuff. They would see my clients be like, oh, that looks sick. Yeah. But it was, like, they were, like, Disney tourists because we were by, like, Disney Springs. So yeah. either they weren't going to be around, they're going back to Wisconsin right. or whatever. Or they, um, they, it was not budgeted. Like, we're talking about cats that are getting a pride flag facing them on the wrist, dude. That's a way different budget than yeah. a sleep. You know what I mean? So it was like, all right, I'm getting no traction here. People are spending and, all their money at Disney. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they don't for sure, for tats. sure, dude. You know, even on the flight there or whatever, right? Yeah. But, um, and then uh, I got a job with uh, War Kings over there. But now I'm opening up a private studio. So, nice. Yeah. June 1st. Up there? Yeah. In Daytona. Cool. Yeah. So June 1st? June 1st, baby. Nice, dude. Yeah, I had got a painting studio. Cause I got three kids, dude. Yeah. I'm trying to paint. And like, dude, I make a good second income selling my paintings, right? Sure. And, um, but dude, trying to a little paint with a baby and yeah. a four-year-old and a 10-year-old that wants me to skate with them. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. you're like, I cannot even think of a palette right now, right? Dude, I don't know how it is for you, but like tattooing, like 
I'll be in my chair, whatever. Like I can talk, have conversations. I can like do a lot of things while I'm tattooing. For some reason, like with painting, I can't do that. Like no. I have to be like quiet, yep. alone. At night, probably even is like my favorite time. Yeah, because you're yeah. quiet and alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like it's weird. It's like it's different. It's not as much like social interaction. It's a lot more like internal, like yeah. mental. I think the painting is when you solve the art things that you want to do in tattoos, sure. right? So like by the time you tattoo it, you already did all the drawing where you need the quiet, yeah. and, right? You know, the gears turning. By the time they show up the tat, like this is art shit, right? right? So you know, like I'm comfortable here, yeah, dog. Yeah, We're good. Yeah. Painting, you're like, oh, all right, I'm, yeah. I'm not fucking Bob Ross, dog. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? So that are you trying to? You're not comfortable in a yeah, client. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm really only painting to like push all the other stuff, right? Sure. Like, well, you know, because I thought about, I saw this video of Dimitri Samoan. I think he took it off of YouTube, but this fool set up only primary colors, black and white, and a spread three round liner, and did a full color portrait like that and crushed it. Oh wow! And I was like, that fool definitely paints. Dude. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. way, right? You know what I mean? So I was like, all right. Then I started like setting up like um limited palettes. I was like, well, if I can only put out X amount of colors and just know off the dick, like boom, 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 mix up. Oh, there it is. Good yeah. to go. You know what I mean? Save time, you know? Dude, and it's like a flex, right? You know? Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, obviously I do black and gray. I don't follow it as much, but I remember when I was still doing a little bit of color, like doing all this research on the palettes people are using. Yeah. And like, okay, like when I'm doing a portrait, like, do I prefer this, like, magenta palette? Do I prefer this, like, olive-based palette? Do I mix them? Do I use, like, magenta in the face and olive in the neck? And, like, doing all these things and, like, really studying the palettes. And then, like, I come in, and this is, like, when I was deciding if I was going to, like, stay with color or not. And then we have Nate Miller over here <laughs> who does five primary colors. That's it. No shit. And then and it'll then do a neon sign. Doesn't even use a stencil. <laughs> and it's like the best fucking color work I've, you know, seen. Yes. And that's when I decided I wasn't going to do color anymore. <laughs> and, well, he paints. It, it, it's yeah. funny because, like, so I was just, like, in Austin, uh, Texas with yeah. uh, Bobby Caparo at his shop. And yeah, uh, Mike yeah. Perry and Mark Wade were there, too. There's all my homies, you know. And um, I'm watching, like, me, Bobby, and Mark, like, setting out all these fucking colors, like, stressing like bro do you think that this shit should have a cool undertone or yeah. should we do cool highlights and warm shadows blah 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 doing all this shit like cats literally hair follicles popping out like fucking eyes twitching and shit and then perry shows up like in some gucci sweatpants dog pours out four caps and is like here we go yeah. and i'm like motherfucker i should have yeah. stayed with that dude you know what i mean but i'm in too deep now yeah. dude i gotta stick with it dude you know the uh even when we were driving, I'm driving down here. It was, like, pretty beautiful last night down 95. That like, sun was doing that thing on yeah, the palm yeah. trees and shit. And I caught myself, like, thinking, like, man, I wonder what color you got to mix to make that warm, exact, like, yellow-orange light on, like, a green palm tree, right? Yeah. And I'm like, it's just black and gray. I already know how that looks, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can make that shit look yeah. epic with the, you know yeah. what I mean? But, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm in too deep, man. With, like, know? black and gray, it, for me, it's a lot of, like, textures. Mm -hmm. Like, how do I make that texture? And like contrast, I, yeah. Right, right. And then uh, it's a little harder to, like, flex. I still try. So, like, my setup will be, like, black mm -hmm. and water cap. Oh, you do the Robert Hernandez. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's like, as much as I can flex. flex. Yeah. That's a flex, dude. It's not as cool like, as primary. But know? that's like a control pressure <laughs> right, thing. Yeah, that's right. like, you know, a girl will see that and, like, I bet you hits the beam perfect <laughs> right. every time, dude. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you can get that, that super solid light tone with a yeah, black like, with cap. Plus, You're like, like, that's like... Um, it's all pressure. Uh, like, motherfuckers that, like, engrave shit got that. <laughs> right, thing, right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm over here, like, I hope it's that's a certain a scab, dog. <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? There's a certain like, finesse to something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, it's like a finesse. Dude. The only like, time you can, like, really flex is when people are, like, either, like, what's your setup? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, like, black. And a three-liner. Yeah. And, yeah. They, <laughs> and, and some like, water. <laughs> what else? You know? And you're, yeah. like, nothing. Or if they're, like, um... They walk up to the station, they're like, oh, what's that cap? And you're like, black. And they're like, what's that? And you're like, witch hazel. And they're like, oh, how do you get, like, the light? 
And you're like, oh, you just do it with your hand. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. but that's it. That's like kind yeah. of it. And a lot of people are doing it now. So it's not like as much of a flex. The reason though I started with that is because like what you see is what you get for yeah. the heel. Yeah. 100%. It's black. You yeah. know, it's either light black. It's not like this watered down shit. Because I remember when I used to use the um, the gray wash or like make the setups like you had to prepare for the heel. Like, okay, this is going to heal like a you shade You almost lighter. make it too dark. Right. Yeah, well, for the fresh. And then yeah. you don't really get a cool picture. You get no. like a picture that kind of looks overworked. You get like, yeah, you get a picture from someone's bathroom in Minnesota <laughs> right. with a shitty iPhone 3 right. dog. See, it, you know, it look, healed. It's sick. And yeah, you're like, right. I know how it looks, yeah. but the gram don't know, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah, that's like, I, yeah, I was talking to Perry about that because he saturates super, super hard. And he's like, yeah, bro, like 50% of the shit that I'm doing, I don't even get a picture of, dude. Yeah. It's, it's like, so, it's like, if I, he goes like tattooing someone like me or you is the best because I know the heel is going to be sick. Like, yeah. That white Irish pinky yeah, fucking skin yeah, yeah. dog, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or can that like baby seal right. flesh over there. Dog, <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. Like you look at his cheeks and I just see like an ASPCA app. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> he's got that good yeah, guy. And I seen the one on his arm look yeah. pretty damn, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, pretty tattoos heal dog. pretty solid yeah. on me. Yeah, and then his leg needs work. Yeah, my leg's oh, fucking bright as shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it holds in there. Yeah. Yeah, the that uh, pasty but like scene. when sometimes you you know that how how that looks looks rugged, but yeah. when you know how it's gonna heal, right, like, right. yeah. But you know you're like they don't get it, dude. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah when am I gonna see this dude again, dude? You know what I mean? Like, and I I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll look at like some of your pieces, which are like these full panels, you know, wall to wall, full saturation. I, I would imagine you're not getting that done in a day, right? Or are you? No, it like most of the things you see on my page are like a two day or a day and a half. Yeah. You know what I mean? Usually. And will you line them up like back to back or will they back to back? You if they yeah. well, most people are traveling. I don't sure. really have a Florida clientele, really. Gotcha. They're mostly coming from like uh, the Carolinas, yeah. uh, D.C., New York, California. Because I was going to say it's tough if like it's not back to back and then, you know, you got to finish the other half and then you want a picture of this worst. Yeah. yeah. Half picture. fresh. Half half picture, dude. The only way that you're going to get a good picture is if Victor Garcia takes his, the video for you. That's the only guy that's that a, can do it. That's yeah. the secret. That's you need to go have a Cuban immigrant. That's really talented. Take your photographs and you're right. good. Yeah. Uh, yeah we have a Mexican one. Write this down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a Mexican one. <laughs> dude, I, I work over there a lot at your shop in yeah. Hialeah. First off, Hialeah feels like home. It's, it's just like the area that I grew up in, like, yeah. except instead of, um, it was more Mexican and Puerto Rican versus like Cuban and, uh, Venezuelan. Gotcha, right. You gotcha. know what I mean? But same thing, dude, right. like making sign language, whistling at cats, like right, to get right, shit right. done, dude, yeah. like eating sick empanadas and shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but I remember I went to take out my phone to take a video and those fools were like, homie, no, no. fucking no, dude, right. like, Calm down, rookie. We got you. And I'm like, damn, all right. <laughs> what like, they, we'll what see they how do? Much, yeah. oh, they had, like, the sick camera, like, something, like, on this level. Yeah. Hella shit. They had some fucking dude holding light, making stand with this sick backdrop where it looks like you're in Miami. They got neons oh. and shit. I'm like, damn, dude. Like, yeah. It almost makes it look like that you're at an even sicker shop than you're at already. Yeah. I'm like, damn, this is like... I fucked up on marketing, dog. I'm right. Like, You're like, like looking at your trailer phone. park videos. Like, <laughs> yeah. damn, dude, yeah, yeah. You're like, I'll just play Snake over here in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have taken this. I should have pulled out a flip phone. They would have been equally as offended, yeah. dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, man. That was like the first thing that I was like kind of upset about. Well, yeah, it's like, okay, not only do I have to be a tattoo artist, I have to be a photographer. Yeah, well, right? now you have to be a content creator, too. Bro. And yeah. you guys are crushing me at content creating. I'm well, like, and you have to dude, be. I can barely make a reel, dog. I can, I can dude, barely. I feel you My on that. My son is trying okay. to show me cap cut to edit shit together, and he's like, because he's making his little skateboard clips with that shit, and I'm like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and yeah. he's like, Dad, chill, dog. Right, like, you're I got fucking you. weak, homie. Let right, me, put let the phone away. Dude, I work with these yeah. dudes, and I can't make a fucking reel to save my life. That's incredible because you're from the generation that like <laughs> Dude, I even hate have like social real media. friends. You should yeah. only have friends that exist in another place. And like you text uh, them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. you should your generation you should be like standing next to each other and text each other instead Face of time. like 
turn to speak. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Kyla's doing that shit right now. She's texting me. <laughs> 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 Bro, but it was like, you know, Instagram was kind of like the thing, you mm-hmm. know, like six, seven years ago. Yeah. It's like, okay, as a tattoo artist, you have to get on there. And then there wasn't, like, the first couple of pictures were really traditional photography. Yeah. Like, black and white landscape, you know, <laughs> oversaturation yeah. landscape. Yeah. Little, like, like filter, filter, yeah, yeah, just filters dude, all yeah. over the photos. Yeah, so mm-hmm. then, like, tattoo artists are, like, trying to figure it out. There's not, like, now you can kind of, like, tell, like, okay, if, if you post black and gray, like, you should... Turn your saturation down a little oh, bit. Like beat the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just make sure your blacks are good. Contrast mm-hmm. is up. Like, if your color, like, make sure the saturation looks good. Like, maybe blur the background. Like, there's almost yeah. these, like, standards, right? So and it's definitely, like, a good way to, like, look back at your tattoo. You want the cleanest photo of your tattoo so, like, you can... Right, but back then, the there was no yeah. standard. Yeah, no, it was, a, it was a wild Blurry-ass photos. Yeah. They're yeah. just, like... Phew. Bro, like, sometimes you just post, like, a shit fucking pic, and it did great. Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, There was no cool, expectations. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I started tattooing when MySpace was going on. That's sick. It's um, <laughs> the 2007, yeah. I uh, did an apprenticeship and went to jail for a little <laughs> bit, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I remember when Facebook came out, I was like, shit's whack fucking college kids, right. dog. You know what I mean? Like, I remember having my top eight and, like, Robert Hernandez and a fucking bunch of these, like, Nico was on my shit. Yeah. Dude, you know? And then, um, then the pictures really didn't matter. It was right. just like you're doing tattoos and they don't suck. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? Like, cool. like, as long as you could, like, zoom in and, like, see a clean line, kind of. Yeah, that was enough, dude. Or as if back then everything was about um, smooth. Like, to be able to get black and gray smooth was, yeah. like, the flex, dude. Yeah. Like, the flex. Like, not pepper shade. No, that would have been like, bro, you're canceled. Right. How dare you say that? I just see a needle mark in this. Yeah. Now that's like a drip, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Yo, that texture's sick. Yeah, I remember when that flip started happening, I was like, oh, shit. So my natural impulse to be like kind of shitty is good. <laughs> right, Tight, right, dude. Right. People I like that sloppy shit. I'm a natural. Dude, I'm, yeah. I got this all day. People dude. like yeah. the sloppy shit now. Well, I flew it's all the way to, uh, to Lithuania to get tattooed by DeMontis Parvanus. Uh, uh, yep. it, yeah, because he was doing this black and gray that was like chunky and like, you know, that look where it's like so bad that it's good. Sure. You know what I mean? He had that like the contrast aspects. is on point. Yeah, like but it's just everything choppy. about the design was like you got tattooed right? by him. Yeah, yeah. I could show you. Want to yeah, see, dude? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's an old one, dude. I got the. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Fucking cool. yeah, the contrast. Though. Yo, and the weirdest shit was, dude. He put out. I, I freaked out because he put out. Um, you know, there's this crazy language barrier because, like, it's not even Russian. It's Lithuanian. So it sounds like if Swedish fucked a Russian, that's right. what it sounds like. Huh. So I show up there, and um, he's got, like, a cap of dark wash black, and then he's got purple silver, uh, burnt umber, and, like, this dirty, disgusting green. And I was like, yo, I want it black and gray. Don't right. He's like, you must trust. You must trust. <laughs> and I'm like, for real? And then like, I'm like, all right, well, f- I mean, yes. fuck it. I came out Marty, here, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. like, let's see, dude. And then like, we took a break. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. He's, what he was doing was like, so like in the flesh of it, he was putting the brown to make it warmer. Uh-huh. And then anything that was like material or uh, metal, he was putting the green and making it colder. Yeah. Which was bugged me out. I'm like, when the fuck do you guys learn this? <laughs> Certainly not Mexicans like we did in America, dog. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, it was interesting, dude. But I definitely and I had that little panic. Like, how long ago is this? 2016, I think. Okay. Because now I think he just does like straight opaque. Yeah. It's, it seems yeah. similar to like just the opaque style. Yeah. But yeah. back then he was, yeah, I think it was like him. And you know that dude that does all like the Adolf Hitler portraits, Dan Yakovlev or whatever. I don't know if I do it actually. Yeah. He's, he's right. a pretty wild. He's yeah. a pretty wild. I gotta, now I, now I think that. he mostly <laughs> just does like girls taking huge heaters to the mouth. Like huh. that's like his. Oh, like his shit. That's his steez now, you know. Whatever inspires you. Yeah, yeah, rock on, dog. Yeah. I'm not mad. Whatever I like spurting off rounds too, dog. You know what I mean? It's pretty tight. I didn't get three kids from just winking dude. Right. <laughs> but uh you know the uh, but i think he had told me he had got tattooed by dan and he went to like his like loft in moscow and he was like dan put out a bunch of brown and all this shit and he was like what the fuck dude and he was like oh 
shit, okay, cool. Must trust. And then I remember we, I was talking <laughs> with Dave Paulo because he liked worked with him. He's like, oh, I'm going to start doing that shit with the brown too. Yeah. But he was working in Portugal and everyone gets tan and it was making all the tattoos feel uh. like shit. Like you could only do that if you work in the most saddest gray places on yeah, earth. Yeah, just like, snow, the just snow doesn't exist. Yeah, like all if the you time. work in Florida, that's a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Even opaques are kind of rough out here, dude. Correct. Like, yeah, like uh, if I go visit Brandon or one of those guys up more up north, I'm like, oh, cool. I could bust yeah. these out. Down here, you need to do that wash, right. dude. Yeah. If they're a local. Maybe you're onto something. Like the sadder the place, the better the tats. Pretty much, dude. Yeah. Well, look at all them dudes that you're like, how? Like Dimitri Samoan. Yeah, you're in war tour in Ukraine, dog. Right. Like, yeah. you know, like, or like you ever have people bring you a picture and it's of like, uh, um, this shit where it's like, dude, it's like the person's so white that it's like outlined in yellow and right. somehow you know yeah. it's going to hold. Yeah. They're in like but then Salem. they show up and they're like Dominican and you're like, nah, fam, where yeah. this isn't going to work, right. dog. You know what I mean? I want to tattoo you, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, because you probably have a better conversation than that chick, dude. But this <laughs> yellow shit's got to go, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. You know? Yeah. It, that's like something that just sucks. I have this one client. We love, everyone loves him at the shop. Yeah. He's the fucking man. Um, and he just has weird skin. Is it like that tough cinder block shit or? Yeah, because he's just like a manual labor guy. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But he's probably the raddest dude, though. Bro. Like the, the most dick and fart no. jokes, the most titty yeah, jokes bro. ever. Like not only am I happy when he comes in, everyone's happy. Yeah, oh, one's like, that oh, what's up? The one I just had to? Yeah, 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 yeah. He is cool. And Well, he actually has this other thing. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch Me too. This. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say his name, but I was like, I hope not. Um, he probably will, because every time he like jokes about it. We but, do like, love him, though. He's, after he's the I like one. tattoo him, he gets these like little bumps everywhere. The red ones? No. The little red ones, like the people get Honestly, here? Honestly, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. Oh, I'm wait, actually, this is like... Uh, I'm actually quite worried the for you. Skin's this is like, like X-Men <laughs> mutant <laughs> shit. Yo, because it, like, it gets bumpy, or? but it's like paler. Like his skin almost like whitens a bit. Do you think like the capillaries like shoot the blood to the... No, dude, to I... the area that's hit? I'm trying dude, to I've, sound I've, like mad smart. I've never seen anything like yeah. it. Yeah. It's nothing like <laughs> crazy, but imagine... It's odd. Yeah, it's odd. It's yeah. odd. And it like makes it almost like a sandpaper. Yeah, texture. I was going to say it's like tattooing gravel. Yeah. Does yeah. it make the skin like, you know, when you put like the numbing shit on it, it turns into that uncooked chicken shit? Is it like that or? <sighs> no, it's it's almost like these skin tone baby moles appear okay. everywhere. Okay. They're like and flat, not round. Yeah, it's it's weird. so weird, yeah. man. Like and the it, little pieces on the, the part that clicks into a Lego. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Very okay. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like a flattened off skin tag. Yeah. Kind of he would do on, well but it's just in reason. Legoland. Legoland. He could yeah. just start connecting. Yeah. Like, just maybe put his arms together. <laughs> like if you like talking. pushed him and he fell into it, he'd come <laughs> yeah. up with a fun <laughs> talk to him. Rad clown. But though. It, like the tattoos are are good, but it's very hard to get great. On him, yeah. yeah, you know, it's, you need like two it, passes, yeah, right? and it's just, just that's tough, it's always like semi blurry, like you just can't get that ultra crispness, right? To the right, right, yeah. right. And, and then if you try to get it, does it look like the skin does like this shit, like skirt? You know, sometimes <laughs> it's canyon, just canyon lads came <laughs> I tattooed like him on his, dude, I tattooed him on his leg and I was lining and I like slid him on one part, yeah. Mm, oh, yeah, dude, yeah. but like sometimes you just get that, like, it, yeah, it, it's it's he's like, old, yo, it's he's no a little bit older, it's no one's like fault, no, it just sucks. Just, just the way you were born, yeah, I guess, right? Sucks, again, bro. Dog, yeah, yeah, and and then like sometimes you get these shit bag clients that have like the nicest fucking skin ever, yeah, you know, and they're all a lot over of times the, it'd be the gram, like that, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's like, man, my coolest shit is on the yeah, dude I actually bro. hate, bro. You I know, don't like, want to see this client like, again, yo, but I'm all over this. Artists, you know, Instagram, they fucking love me, and it's like, I fucking hate you. It's like, actually, when I see <laughs> you, you on my skin. calendar, I get anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I had to break up with a client recently, dog, and um, it, I never had you to did, do it like this. And we're talking in om, almost, no, almost 20 years of tattooing. Wow. wow. I never had to say this to someone before. So this kid, um, he, first off, he's like one of those cats that, um, like, he, like will antagonize for no reason, like just because he's bored. You, and, yeah, like, oh, wow. like he knows, like that. I got a bunch of kids, so there's like certain shit that people want to talk about being in schools that, like, maybe I'm not trying to talk about, dude. Right? You know what I mean? Won't we'll, won't we'll get into it, but you know what yeah. I'm saying. So he'll purposely start going at it like that. But that's a side note compared to the real issue. The real issue is that every time this fool was on my books, a horrible health tragedy would happen to me. 
First time he's on there, I get kidney stones that they have to blast with lasers and fucking like put tubes in my dick, dude. Yeah. Then he have him on there again. The fucking ha- there's another one that's stuck in there. They got to do it. Then another time I got like fucking strep throat. Another time I got like some crazy. So every time he's on there, so I had to tell him like, look, dude. Is it You're from like, stress? No, I think he's just a bad omen, dog. Like, on some, <laughs> on some like, astral yeah. level yeah. fucking God, whatever the fuck. He's, that dude, he's got an attachment or some shit. Some bad shit juju. is following this dude. Like, like a demon. Like the dirt, maybe, I don't know, yeah. dude. Like, like, he's got that cloud, like Linus from the Charlie Brown with the mm-hmm. dirt, but yeah. it's like a demon or something. Yeah. Dog. You know what I mean? Like kinda, that's, Linus is kind of cool. He's but, mad cool. But this client does not seem not cool. Not cool. No, yeah. no. I was just <laughs> referring to the following. I know. I know. Yeah, that was a good yeah. visual. But yeah. then I was like, damn, I like Linus. I like Linus, too. <laughs> yeah. I can relate to living under a bridge. He's got that look, dog. You know, Linus has got everything except the crack smoke going right. on already. Yeah, he would... He would kill. He would do well in the tattoo on, world. He was too. on yeah, his way. That boy's sad. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he was on his Definitely, way. Definitely, dog. What? He was on the way. Was if Linus way. started tattooing Linus. anime, he'll blow up. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. And he moved to Orlando. He's in. Yeah. He's killing. He's killing it, dude. You know? So how do you break up with the client? I had to tell him that, dude. I was like, look, in person. Man. Well, no, I didn't even want to get near him. Right, because I'm afraid something bad's gonna. What if? He, what if he does have a demon on him, right? And then fucking, I get in my you. car, and then like, it, like final you know, I get on I four, and I just die. Right, and I'm like, I don't want to risk it right. with this fool. It is not worth it, dude. On you know your way I mean? out, it's like talking about schools and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I fucking had to. Uh, I had to email, and I'm like, look, man, I don't, I don't want to sound like a dick, dude, but. I'm starting to think you're like a bad omen. This is like the eighth time that something horrible has happened to me, dog. Dude, you know what that's I mean? kind of fucking hysterical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How would you feel as the client in that you. situation? Right. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I, and it's like... Um, I don't feel safe with you. <laughs> like, yeah, and I, I, dude, you know, I, and, and I thought of myself as this this older tattooer, like, I, I didn't see some shit, man. I seen I seen a person overdose outside the shop and die. I seen people pull wow, pistols yeah. and shot all that yeah, old yeah. tat shit, dude. You know what I mean? All that crazy shit. But this kid was the spirit breaker. You know what I mean? I would handle someone brandishing a firearm that maybe had a body on it easier than yeah than being around this guy. Right. Yeah. So there's how do you take it? Not well. <laughs> well, he's a demon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much, dude. Not well, dude. And then, like, the way we you have You weren't, our- like, scared that if you... Because I'll get freaked out about the... De- the, the that it'll to try to attach to you, yeah. is what you're well, saying, what dude? if he, like... Like, sent some shit to me? I don't know. I he don't got wanna, out like, some put black out salt there. and a fucking... One of them candles to send you back You should put a energy. salt circle around your station. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm on, some, I'm on some shit now where I'm, like... Uh, my wife used to do all this, like, pulling tarot and all that yeah, stuff, yeah. dog. And then we started getting worried, right? Because my son would, um, every time that she would start pulling taro in the house and shit, my son would um, ha- start having sleep paralysis and seeing fucking demons in his room, like screaming like he's dying. I'm like, what the oh, fuck, wow. dude? Yeah. So she goes, I'm going to take these out of the house. And she right. put them in the shed. Fucking stopped. She brought them back in, started again, dude. So I'm like, I, like whenever I see cats doing that shit, I'm like, I don't know if you know who you're talking to with that. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like yeah. when you're on DMT and you fucking see the machine elves dog. Like, right. I don't know if that's like the cats I really want to be talking <laughs> yeah. with dog. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, I don't know you fam. Like I'm right. in this place. I don't know, dude. Like time's different here. It's, it's not you know Jake from I mean? State Farm. No. no, hell no. It's not Jake from State Farm. So like with that kind of shit, I just feel like, uh, you know, if I just stay like hella positive, dude, it doesn't really. Sure. I don't really get fucked with, dude. Yeah. If I catch my, if I deal with someone like that, right, and then I catch myself like hating on shit for no reason, or like, why the fuck am I thinking about this one shit like that? I know makes me angry. It's like, ah, oh, okay. Let yeah. me just let me reset and put on some fucking chiller shit. Right, because you can't like give it power. Yeah, and no, that's 100%. like for for anything, like you know, anything negative, anything positive, like I. I think that really matters. Like, it, it, mm-hmm. it means something. Yep. You know, like, if I'm walking around all day, like, ah, oh, you suck, like, you're the worst, like, you need to be anxious, you should feel bad about it. Like, I'm going to have a terrible life. Yeah, you and know? you're going to have anxiety. You're yeah. going to have all those things that you just said. You, like, yeah. spoke it into existence, right, dude. Bro. You, like, almost, like, wished for it, right? Sure. 
And if you're like the only time I have anxiety now, really, is like coming here because I'm like, I don't know these cats, right, dude. They, right? You know, shit, dude. I'm like, I'm on the edge of becoming old a little bit. I gotta like, am I fresh? Like, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying, dog? I think I match my fucking son. I shouldn't okay, have worn dude. the alien shorts. Yeah, 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 yeah dude, You know what yeah. I mean? So like, uh, but that's Fuck like it. it now. Like everything else, I'm like, okay, dude. Yeah. I had this instance happen where I was driving back from Brandon's house. This and um. I, uh, I'm on 95 and I'm in like South Carolina somewhere. And, um, I got this fucking like super serious urge to like call my wife. And I felt like if I didn't call her like, uh, right then, like something bad was going to happen. Right. Okay. So, and I like to where I'm like shaking, like anxiety attacks. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is this? So I pull off, call her. I'm like, let me calm down. I'm in a fucking Arby's in rural South Carolina looking <laughs> like I just blasted off meth, dude, right. you know? And I finally calmed down and I I put on the GPS to get home and I and I look and it's like trying to take me this other way. But I can see I the entrance to I-95. Yeah. Like, I'm not going through this fucking town in South Carolina. Like, right. bitch, I'm getting on the highway. I can dude. see where it is. Yeah, I can see yeah. where to go, dude. Like, I almost don't even need to put this on. <laughs> it goes right to my house, right? So um, I'm like, fuck it. I'll get back on the highway. I get on the highway, dude. And the car that was, um, it would have been like only two car lengths ahead of me, fatal car accident. Whoa. And it was like right after, it must have happened like immediately after I got off the yeah, exit. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, maybe when something I think is like I'm taking L is happening, maybe it's like actually keeping me from taking a fucking L. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we first moved down here. I had this banging shop up in Southern Delaware by Ocean City, Maryland kind yeah, of area. Yeah. And um, I was so bummed. I'm like, dude, nothing is zoned right. It's either in the hood or it's in like some trailer fucking area or like I'd have to basically like suck off the whole city council to get approved because, right. you know, it's by Daytona. So they only think like biker shit. And I'm right. like, trust me, homie, it's not that, you yeah. know. But I'm like bummed. I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm like losing money, get hiring people to try to find these places. I just give up. And I had finally, we had found one place. I was like, maybe this is the spot. It was on A1A and across the street was the fucking ocean. I was like, this is it. Yeah. This is the move, dude. Right. And I go inside and I'm like, fuck, dude, this is a lot of work. Like, you know, I'm thinking, okay, it's like 50 G's to get this shit even on the level. Yeah. Right. And then I'm like, you know what, dude, it's Florida. Let me check like the AC situation, like the ducts and pipes and all yeah. that shit. And I was like, oh, no, this is like 120K to get this place yeah. moving, right? So I pass on it. And I'm super bummed because like it was like literally if you walked in the parking lot, it's like the chill part of A1A between like Daytona and St. Yeah. Augustine. So it's like yeah. beautiful, pristine pelicans and shit, dog. And then when the hurricane came through, fucking crushed. Oh, shit. So I ducked L there, and there was one other location in South Daytona that I looked at, also crushed. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I thought I was taking the L, but, like, Dodge imagine if I put 100K into a spot. You know, decimate my entire fucking savings, everything, right? Yeah. And then I get spanked by a hurricane. Dude. Yep. Yeah, so... Sean, if I show you my palms, can you tell me my future? No, I'm not trying. I don't even baby. want to, dog. <laughs> don't bring that in the shop. Don't bring that in the shop. I think that, like, that shit goes on with everybody. I think when you start to get older, you just notice it. Yeah. Like, I feel like when you're, like, Cam's age, you're just, like, a walking boner dripping jizz, dude. Yeah, Because you're not paying attention to anything. And then that anything. shit happens, and you just think it's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to be protected. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That was a coincidence, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow, what a lucky day, dog. Look at that you know car know? accident. Yo, yeah, I caught damn, a... Damn, dude. Then you get older, you're like, oh, oh. Caught the cinder block according, through my uh, according windshield. According to physics, if I had been going two miles an hour faster, that's me. Yo, yeah, I, I caught, often drive two hour miles an hour dude. faster than this. <laughs> Yo, I caught mm, a cinder know? block through my car, like my win front windshield on 95 one night on my way home. It hit my passenger seat. Like, if that dude, brick was like three feet dude, over. that's some shit. I, I would have been like hitting the cross. I would have hit Allah off, dude, whoever, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was crazy. Cam called me. He's like, I'm be late to work. <laughs> But I feel like I feel like the cinder block through the window thing only happens in like places like Florida. Yeah, yeah bro. Because people you know don't strap I mean? their shit down well, in their trucks like I, down here. Yeah, no, hundred yeah. percent, dude. Like I seen a dude driving on ninety five. Not this time, but the last time I drove down to work at Victor. Yeah, and there was a guy with like. It was like a regular small, not even one of those ISIS style Tacoma pickup trucks, like a small joint, like a yeah. Mazda joint, right? Yeah. Like, like you cut grass for a living type right, of joint, right? right? And the homeboy is in the back sitting on the edge of the cab, like, you know, like, 
this is and the inside's here and he's sitting on the edge like yeah. back to death right and he's <laughs> just holding onto a generator that's not strapped down dude yeah <laughs> and i was like this is the most florida shit ever. hold on let me put my seatbelt on yo did you yeah. <laughs> do you see that did you happened, see this dude. viral video the that truck that the front wheel oh, popped God, off and the kia shit. soul went flying yeah yeah so dude that's some final yo this is me i'll, I'll oh, send on. it to me so i can play again. it on the fucking on the podcast dude this is great i saw this i was like this is because cam drives a kia soul. i have a kia soul you so, have a kia so this fucking video <laughs> oh my <laughs> god bro. Bro. Shit, dude Yo, bro, that's 20 Keanu. feet in the air. That's, that's insane. Bro, and the tire comes back. <laughs> and it comes back, and it hits goes it back again. for seconds. Damn. Yo, that is the oh, craziest man. fucking thing I've ever seen. I gotta watch it one more time. Yo, you drive a Kia, huh? The same fall. fucking car. Dude, don't drive your shit in Milwaukee. You heard about the Kia boys? Hell no. Kia what boys. the yeah, fuck? The Kia boys no, are. No, All right, no. so, so Mike Milwaukee. Perry's from it's Milwaukee, crazy. and okay. this started in Milwaukee in yeah. COVID, right? So... All these kids found out, like 15, 16, whatever, that if you take the back end of an iPhone charger and rip off a little bit of panel of Kias and certain Hyundais, all Kias, certain Hyundais, that you can start the car with the back end of an iPhone charger. Oh, shit. Sorry, you don't want yeah, my fucking so, dude, car. There's wild videos of Kia boys, dude. I remember, like, I smoked an L with, uh, well, Perry don't smoke, but we're sitting out there with, like, a fire in my backyard, yeah. and we lost... And almost two hours to Kia boys, dude. Damn. And then there's videos of like cats catching the Kia boys. Yeah. And that's like, it's rugged. Is it like organized, the Kia boys? No, it's insane. It's mayhem, dude. Oh, it's like okay. they're all kids. They're, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. like, um, rewind cam five years, make them hood from like the south side of Milwaukee. And that's, yeah. that's what's going on. And they're doing wild shit. Like one homie standing on top of the car. They're fucking burn, riding up on lawns. Crazy shit, dude. Yeah. But I, I, I was I was more intrigued by the fact that like I thought cars were getting to a point where they're almost unstealable without like some crazy technology, right? right? Nah, these fools were like, nah, nah it's yeah. so dude. Fucking I, back end you see those fucking dogs. dudes that are just like clear out Dodge dealerships and just steal like four Hellcats. No, but and, like, now, third, I, now you need to yo, send these videos, dude, dude. There's videos online. I'm about like, it. Yo, they'll mm. fucking clear out like five hell Hellcats in thirty seconds. That's sick. Yo, it's crazy how easy it is. It's cake it's, now. In my it's easy mind, I'm like, oh, because dude, of the electronics and shit. Now it's fucking it easier. easier. Yeah, oh. all these dudes have these little devices. They just fucking. Yeah, I guess if like you know your Instagram can get hacked every other fucking week, right? Like I'm sure they could hack a fucking. Car well, this, like, yeah, you with your I mean? Instagram has a password. The car well, just doesn't. Like the car, <laughs> yeah. Once they're in, they're fucking yeah, they're in good, that dude, thing. Bro. They gotta do the two way authentication on your car, bro. Sends you a little yeah. text. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the just like the cars are improving. I mean, so are the thieves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? I, 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 for some reason, I thought because, like, dude, I grew up like um, in Staten Island in New Jersey, and yeah. New Jersey was like the car thief capital of the United States in yeah. like the nineties, right? And I remember one time we went from you know because if you went to New Jersey, there was no sales tax, right? So my mom and I drove um, from Staten Island, New York, to New Jersey to the Woodbridge Mall, right? And, you know, this is when the club was a thing, dude. They put the club on your fucking steering wheel, right? Yeah. My mom yeah, puts the club, all this fucking shit. It's like to, it would lock your steering wheel. It was like this bar. Oh, okay. So it was like, right? you couldn't drive it, really. Okay. Yeah, and it, we came that. out, dude, fucking a wheel spot. That's all it was. Damn. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah, crazy. And it was, but that was like regular, like, oh, I went to fucking Jersey, stole my car, bro. Yeah. Like, you know. But I thought, because that's all like, you know, shoving up. Screwdriver. Uh, screwdriver in and Popping ripping off, shit out. Yeah. I'm like, they can't really. This a push. Like, you know, I thought. Yeah. I thought that day was done. Well, a lot of the Apparently old like not. Toyota trucks, you really could just, bah, bah. <laughs> yeah, and just get it yeah. popping like that. I feel like, uh, like if you had a Honda Accord, yeah, or a Honda Civic in the '90s, your shit would get stolen at least once, almost in any state. Yeah, yeah. The good old days. You know, yeah. I'm from Jersey. Shut up. Where? Yeah, uh, Morris County. No way. I lived in Union County by Elizabeth. That's why I said Hialeah yeah, feels yeah, like yeah, home because yeah. Elizabeth was Oh, there. I got you. No yeah. shit, dude. Yeah, so you know the area. When did oh, you move yeah. here, dude? Uh, like 12 years ago. Oh, so you've 20. been here. You're pretty Floridianized. Like, yeah, yeah <laughs> I feel like home now. Yeah. Floridianized. But it's like that, like, <laughs> Jersey's kind of sad. Like yeah. a sad place. Yeah, 100%. Um, so that's like where I come from. Yeah. So I respect. That's why you don't smile in pictures. Yeah, I respect yeah. the sad places. Yeah, Kanye, that shit. Yeah, because it's like nice for like three months, kind of. Yeah. 
and then it's sad. Yeah. You know, and, and I forgot that. So I'll like go home to visit, especially in the winter. Yeah. And I'll go up with my girl and then uh, I'm like, oh, we'll see snow. This will be cool. And then you go and you see snow and then you're like, oh, I forgot that I'm God, depressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to go back. It's like, yeah. no, wonder I, no wonder I had a drug problem. Yeah. Yeah. That dog. too. It's fucking sad as yeah, hell, dude. You bro. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then like everything is super urbanized. So you're like not ever touching the actual earth. Like I said, the closer right. you get to Manhattan, right? Right. So, like, if you live in those suburbs of Manhattan or in Manhattan or any of the fucking boroughs or that, all those parts of Jersey, right, it's gray. You never see actual nature, right? right. You only see, like, man-made shit, and you only interact with man-made shit. You're, like, almost not even yeah. a part of the planet. Right. So you're like, yeah, crack sounds good, dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heroin sounds tight yeah. this time of year, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just yeah. going to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> not deal with any of it. this whole <laughs> winter, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, and then it's like, well, I have to do some stuff like grocery shopping and like mm -hmm. maybe attend to errands. So it's like, yeah, then I'll do crack, so I could do that. Stuff, <laughs> you know, and then you forget you can't leave the house. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, it was like, um, because when we were moving, it was like kind of the choice was like, um, Florida. My wife uh, was originally born like in the Daytona area, you know, but then yeah. she moved up to New Jersey. And then, um, or it was uh, Texas, you know. Uh, now, if I had moved to Texas, I would have been popping immediately. Like, that. I have a huge clientele from there, gotcha. right? Uh, but I would have been incredibly sad. <laughs> okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, after Is living, Texas sad? No, it, it's it's cool, but it's not my kind of cool. Gotcha. You know what I mean? From what like, I've seen, it's there's some parts that just don't look good at all. It's, it's just you know, it's flat. It, it's yeah. the kind of place where you you can get those mansion style houses because you have people over to entertain. Whereas like where I live, I live like a, you know, half a mile from the ocean. Like you have beach bungalows because right. you're doing outdoor shit. Right, right. Like you meet up the somewhere to chill. It's, The entertainment's outside. The entertainment's where you live. Right. Yeah, and which I like. You know what I mean? Yes. That's that's my move. Plus like, you know, I'm trying to wear flip-flops, dog. Like right. flip-flops in Austin looks weird. It looks like I moved there from LA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, and I probably have like, like blue hair or something. Yeah, like down yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, but I'm from Portland <laughs> right. or some shit, yeah. dog, you know? It's so acceptable down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the... Um, but, like, you know, like I said, it would have been busy, but, um, you know, there isn't, like, that, like, it's, like, if you go take a walk on, like, a trail out here, it's, like, inspiring, dog. There's, like, all kind of cool shit to see. Yeah. Like, I could just look at foliage growing, like, damn, son, they don't got that in Jersey, dog. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. say, what, that a fucking raptor I just heard over here, dude? Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking the Everglades, it's, bro? It's yeah, like the, well, you it's guys like, got that It's, like, here. time like, traveling, dude. I'm, like, in the... You know, I'm like in between St. Augustine and Daytona, yeah. right? So that's probably a different even climate than this. Dude, I live yeah. like Nature five wise. minutes from the Everglades. That's crazy. It's like 30 from here. It's not far. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. It's just but all like swamp that's the, down that's here. That's the option too, though. I thought was cool. Like the way that this state is set up, it's just like a real thick penis. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You're you right. can travel the coast long ways, hit the tip, right. you know, then you could jump out onto the keys and land in those Fucking couple ski dots, you know, right? yeah. and then you come back up the little shaft Frenum thing, dude, and you can hang out by the balls and go to Panama City and yeah. Tampa and Ebor Tampa, and all that, yeah. dude. Right. And there is different shit the whole way, but if you want to skip all that roundabout, you could just drive straight across from Ormond or Daytona to Tampa, two hours, you're there. Yeah. Sick. You know what I mean? I could, you could be in Miami and fucking from my house three hours. Yeah, if you like that nature right. shit, you should take a drive down Alligator Alley. What's that? It's literally just what connects us to Fort Myers. It's just a long strip. It's just nothing amazing. but Everglades. And it's called Alligator Alley and it's fenced off and you can just see gators just chilling. I haven't seen a wild gator yet, dude. It's been then like you just, two years. Dude, and I'm change. talking like 15 minutes into your drive down. Go to down Tyler's it. house. I, well, no, I, I'm afraid. My, I'm afraid to go to Tyler's house because I'm already like, you know, those cobras look kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know, but then I look at his finger and I'm like, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, that dude, doesn't really know? look that sick. That doesn't yeah. look. Yeah. Sick. That doesn't look. <laughs> that doesn't look it, sick. it looks well, sick got, in like, a different way. <laughs> I think like our buddy was like in town doing like body mods. I think I got one of my ears done at Tyler's house, and they didn't like know where to do it. So he's like, oh, we'll just do it in the snake room. <laughs> and like, I'm like, I'm fine with snakes, yeah. but it's different when it's like 
50 venomous snakes yeah and like half of them there's no anti-venom yeah yeah like, you're just like, like it's different if like they yeah. have like if he videos, has the pictures of him in the yeah. hospital yeah, yeah like, bro was almost dead yeah. Yeah. like, what the like fuck? it's different if they had like one of them you could just keep your eye on it but yeah. there's like 50 surrounding you you're like i can die at any they're, like making noises and like hitting the cage yeah. Yeah. and and one's rattling like be still <laughs> like, what be the still fuck? Yeah. you just you're yeah. You're like, fuck this. <laughs> Yo, this shit's crazy, dude. Well, I found Tyler uh, because of my kids. Right. With, like, I didn't even know stuff? about his tattoos. Dude. Yeah. So I'm like, this is just the rad fucking King Cobra guy. <laughs> right. Like, this guy's sick, dude. And then I'm looking at him and I'm like, this dude... I feel like he tattoos. <laughs> right, right. Or like he owns You just had that look. Or like, yeah. it's not like a custy look. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, like this like dude's a, covered. It's like yeah. you're, and the kind of things that you'll get in placements and shit, dude, you're like, that's a tattooer placement right there. Dude. Yeah. Some regular fucking the John piercings, don't know about that. You right, know what I mean? I'm right. Like, yeah, the piercings, yeah, yeah. shit like that. And I'm like, okay. Because at first I'm like, oh, this is a sick-ass Florida dude with just chains and guns and cobras and <laughs> right. shit. I'm like, this guy's <laughs> this the most Florida free. shit ever, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to be like that when I grow up, right? And then I was like, wait, I'm halfway there, dog. You know what I mean? He just got better yeah. hair, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? How did you come into your style? Was it always that? Or oh, did this it- is a cool question. Okay. All right. So I started off and I was like, I want, I was like masturbating to Robert Hernandez like right. every day of my yeah, life, yeah. dude. Like, and Paul Booth and Robert Hernandez and all those dudes. I got my first good tattoos at Last Rites when Paul's shop was sure. still around. And uh, I was trying that. And then my wife uh, gets pregnant with my son. Right. And I'm like, fuck, dude, I can't fucking a family on this like fake ass Robert Hernandez shit. Dude. <laughs> right. like, I'm not even doing good fake Robert right. Hernandez. I'm doing like, you know, Cam's cheek level unmatured. <laughs> right. Robert Hernandez. Seal dog. skin. Yeah. Yeah. Seal skin. Baby seal skin. Yeah. You know? So I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm like, well, what a, what can I do that I know motherfuckers will always get? I was like, okay. If I do portraits, like roses, Pinocchio. and skulls. That was stupid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if I do portraits, roses, and skulls, that will. People always get those. People are always dying. Skulls are always cool. And people always right. get roads. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. And I did that. And I was paying my bills and started to get magazine articles and nice. this stuff. Back when you sent in, like, raw photos. Yeah, like, yeah, wow. it was crazy. Right. But, and then um, it hit, and you're like, fuck yeah. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Yeah. It was, like, all overexposed in the magazine. You get, like, shit. one magazine. You put it out in the shop. You're like, if anyone wants to read this. Dog, yeah. You know what I mean? Page 17, <laughs> yeah. dog. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, okay, that's going good. Um, and then I'm like, okay, then the realism starts popping, right? Like it starts really popping off and I'm like, okay, man, this, maybe I bet on the right horse right here. Right. So I start going hard with that. And, uh, you know, you're doing like the typical, like white girl with a native American headdress and like a rose under it or a clock morphing into a fucking face. It's, right, it's right. flex. Right. And then, um, I was, yeah, talking to that dude, bang, bang. And then, um, Inkology, and and I was possibly entertaining working at Last Rites. I was living like um, in New York State, but like you know where those outlets are up there. Like if yeah, you, yeah, 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 I was living by there. Okay, yeah. And um, I was thinking about like my wife wanted to work again, and there was you know it's mountains up there. There's not really yeah. work for her, so we were like, well, maybe we'll move back down to New Jersey or New York City, you know, but in that area. And uh, I get um. I get a call from the dude from Inkology, and he's like, uh, Sean, and he's this Irish guy, like, from Ireland. Sean, uh, listen, mate, we got, uh, Dennis Sivak is here. And I'm like, send me a picture of this fucking Ukrainian motherfucker with his legs crossed in his tight jeans. And right. If I see this with your studio background, I'll come down and do this job interview today. Yeah. So sure enough, there's this fucking Ukrainian immigrant. With like, his legs crossed. With legs crossed hard. I yeah. mean, almost, I don't know how his balls suffer this uh, <laughs> right. for hours. Like he was time. never coming out of that leg never. cross. No, it's deep. And it's like a strong one. Like right. I can't, my knees can't like do it. Like a judo it. move. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. jujitsu all yeah. day. And uh, I start working there. And um, I'm like, I made it, dude. I'm working with my, my top three favorite uh, realism artists at yeah. the time. Like. This is, I think, 2016. Like, this is the shit. I'm in Manhattan, which means I'm in one of the, probably one of the better shops in the world at that time, right? If you're in a large city like that and you're in one of the top yeah. five shops there, you might as well, you know, you're on the, the main stage, right? right? And I realized something that made me incredibly sad, that nothing in my life was solved by making it, right? Uh, 
and I got like super depressed and like started drinking again and shit. Yeah. And I was like, this is it, dude. Yeah. I worked this hard to still have to do the same picture of this fucking tiger for 14 hours, dude, right. getting every fucking whisker, dude. Like, suck, dude. So um, I decided, like, well, I told my wife, I was like, look, I got stuff in my head that I think should be tattoos, but I don't really see anybody doing anything like this. So give me six months to do these tattoos for cheap and just get the work out. Cause you know, people book what they see. Right. Right. So I said, let me take these, you know, and I made a whole bunch of designs and drawings and all this stuff. And I started doing these weird sci-fi looking graffiti shit, comic book things or whatever. And that shit worked, bro. Yeah. And then now we're here. I, I had to make a list though. Like what, like you do this thing where you're like, well, who am I really? Right? Like, what do I actually like? Well, not what tattooing is telling me to right. like or what Ink Mag is telling me I should like or whoever the fuck, right? Yeah. Whatever, whoever's popping what they like. Like, been doing this long enough. Like, I want to just make shit that makes me happy, dude. And um, I, I saw Brandon Herrera do it. I mean, early Brandon Herrera when he was Darren Hall's apprentice was like doing lions and shit, dude. Yeah. Not the case now, right? Right, right. So I was like, okay. And if you look at him, it makes sense, right? Like, if you look at Brandon Herrera's work and close your eyes and you just know that he's Mexican, you know that he's chubby, he wears a scully in July and he's at a metal show. Right. And his tattoos and his clients look like that. Dude. Right, right. Like, so I was like, let me close my eyes. Like, who the fuck am I, dude, right? And it's like, well, I used to write graph. I used to be a junkie. I love 80s sci-fi movies. Let's go. Yeah. And then that's where we're at. Yeah. You know? Do you, I mean, you bring up a good point, though, because you said not what tattooing tells me to like. Yeah. You know, which is something that's so easy to fall into, yeah. right? Because you have these people you look up to, you see, you want to be like inspiration, whatever. And it makes it it makes sense when you think about it. Like, I'm going to follow the light. Yeah. But at some point, like, you got to create your own light. Exactly, right? dude. Yeah. And and it's it's tough and things change and people change and like we change. So maybe even you get to this point where you have, you know, found your thing. And then five, six, seven years go by, and maybe you want a new thing. That's you why know? you paint. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> well, you, you have to keep exploring. Yeah, dude, yeah. Right? The moment you get too cozy with it, yeah. something's going to give, right? Yeah. You know, and, I, and I, I've done it because I've had to reinvent my... I started off, like, originally started off trying to do new school. Then I realized I suck at outlines, right? right. So I'm like, that's a whole part of this yeah. that I'm missing, right? Dude? You're like, so, should I do realism? So then <laughs> I was like, all right, well, I'm, I really love this Robert Hernandez stuff, and it's like realism. I can I can get with that. Black yeah. and gray's not messy, you know. Um, then I was like, fuck, I got a kid on the way and a wife and shit, dude. I gotta I gotta do I gotta pay these bills, you know. Yeah. But I still want to be somewhat happy, and this hand motion, happy. Yeah. You know. This hand motion, not happy. Yeah, right? sad. So, yeah, sad. Very Jersey in Jersey February. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like where it's gone on too yeah. long with the gray. Right? Wow, this shirt is actually really nice. If you haven't already, you need to check out themodelcitizenapparel.com. It has the best tattoo clothing I've ever seen. And I'm quite a critic when it comes to fashion, clothing, whatever. The design has to be cool and the material has to be comfortable, at least form fitting. They have a range of styles from vintage to modern. They're continuing to work with new artists featuring new designs and articles of clothing. You need to check out this company, themodelcitizenapparel.com, or you can check out their social media, which is Model Citizen Apparel. It's the best. You know? No, I love it, dude. I love it with like the the glows and like the light source and like and everything i've seen is really color i mean are you doing black and gray at this point at all i, I do okay but like you wouldn't know it right, 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 you're, right, just, you're right. just you're just posting <laughs> the stuff you want to post right now well that's yeah. like you know it, it's uh well you know what i'm talking about so like when you put out a certain look of work for a while yes. that's like yes like i made the mistake when i moved here i took on a lot of like wild ass cover-ups yeah. And posted all of them. <laughs> right. And then I was like, why am I only getting like Florida man, alligator skin, four inch thick tribal <laughs> cover ups, dog? Like, you know, it's, I guess it's a flex that I just right. made that shit disappear. But yeah. I've also, like, there was a point when we were first here, I had six or seven months with not one piece of clean skin. That's that shit was like 
this dog yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> yeah Oof. that's rough yeah so I, i've been there's trying of, to mix in a little more yeah. black and gray here when i can because there's a lot of people down here with really bad tattoos yeah, I know, and I found out quick. Like, yeah. how they get, Saving <laughs> lives <laughs> one yeah. tad at a time. Mm-hmm. Yo, but, but it sucks when you do something out of your style and it, you're really proud of it and you're like, I can't post this. Yeah. Yo. You know? Yo. You don't want to do any more of it. You're like, it was cool this one time, but I don't want to do right, this again. Right, but you really should only post what you want to do. Correct, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you said, it, you said it before, like, you know, people get what they see. Uh, and, and it's true. Like, just the way you said you wanted to change your style, kind of take that break, give people breaks on the price so that you could get more of this work out and then post it. Yep. You know, like I did that with the castles. We tell guys in here to do that when they change a style or want to move into a style. I, I think it's really important, especially for like newer tattooers to know that and older tattooers that haven't figured that out yet. Well, also like older tattooers um, with the like, you know, hey man, maybe I'm I'm tired of doing portraits of the cardinal sitting on the lily. Like maybe I want right. to do something else. Right. You know, like after eight years of that, you're probably ready to get a little weird, bro. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or do something yeah. different, or like, you know, you start looking at like, you know, that something's got to give when you start coming to work on something that used to make you super happy, and you're like, fuck another one, dude. Right. You know what I mean? Like I remember in Jersey, I had booked out. Um, it's the first time. Remember when you first get your first, like, oh, fuck, I'm booking up. Dude. Yeah. You know, sick, right? So I booked, I think it was like five or six months completely full of pocket watches and roses. In yeah. like the 2014 right. era, dude. You, you know knew what, what I mean? time it was. Yeah, I, dude, everybody <laughs> knew what fucking time yeah. it was, dude. If you wanted Roman numerals, yeah. numbers, how you want it, dog, you know? And I remember, like, I almost get like the chills and a slight vomit feeling when I see small numbers in a clock face. Now, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Like I went too hard, dude, right. you know, and I, but I was just so amped. Like they love me. They want right. my stuff, dude. Yeah. Not thinking about how I'm about to not love me for this, dude. Right. right? You know what I mean? And yeah. what kind of sucks too is, you know, time is time and it can only be spent in one place, let's say. Yeah. And if you're spending all this time doing designs you don't like, you're not spending time practicing the things you do like yep. and you're not improving on those things. And right? how good is that going to come out when you're not into it? Yeah. You can force through a few of them. Yeah. But after a while, you're gonna be like looking for a way out, dude. Right. It's like a bad day. Yeah. You're like, fuck, <laughs> if I, if I just crush this side real quick, we can be out of here, uh, you know, bro. And that was, it's still tough. And it, it was very tough when I started doing that, but like turning down pieces, mm-hmm. you know, cause You come in with that like tattooer mentality of like, I'm only making whatever I tattoo today. And it's kind of scary. Like when you're a kid, maybe you see your friends collecting these like paychecks every week and these consistent jobs that they can can lean on. And uh, my early career was very fear-based. Yeah, me too. Like I need to get someone in, like I need to make this money. Um, like I don't want to end up homeless. Yeah, what, that was like always well, the thing see, in my you've head. You've seen the bottom too. You right, know right. I was like, like I don't want to yeah, go yeah. back there. Whatever. Yeah, and no, that's a that's a motivator for. Yeah. You know. And then you, you know, kind of like you, like I would just take anything to have stability. Yep. You know, I'll do whatever art tattoos, blah blah blah. But you start to notice those things. Like, okay, yeah, I am booked out, but it's not things I love. I, I actually kind of have anxiety about most of these pieces because yep. they're so not what I'm that's interested in. That's a horrible in. place to live. Like, right. In the, sure, like, like I'm, I'm financially. Paid, I'm anxious. You yeah, know? bro. I'm not happy, dude. You know? And, like, remember when, like, the emails would come in and it's like, oh, like, you know, for me, like, it's a color piece. or that. And I back in the day, I'd be like, oh, I, I mean, I could do that. Or, or even worse, like, well, I don't have to worry about it for five months, you know, yep. <laughs> whatever. Yep. Just leave and little landmines like, around. Oh, yeah, it's that came on. fast. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and like learning to to turn those down, and it was tough because you know you get like five, six, seven emails, and you're like, cool, five, six, seven tattoos, yeah. and maybe none of them are things you want to do. Yep. yep. And then you're like, shit, that's zero tattoos. 
Well, know? that's like where I'm kind of at right now, dude. Because like, like literally North Carolina up to like Boston, I could like show up with my pants off, dog. Right. Like, my, like fucking Sean's here, dog. I could like yeah. Literally do whatever the fuck I want. I remember like I, I did a Hanya mask with like a snake with a glowing tongue on this kid. Yeah. And this uh, my homie Tim worked with me, and he's like, "That's what you're gonna show the client for the design." And he's like, that's the snake? That's that scribble there? That's what you're going to show him? I'm like, yeah, bro, he gets it, dog. Yeah. I can't do that shit down here. No <laughs> yeah, one knows who yeah, the fuck yeah, I yeah. am, dude. Yeah. And people are, like, starting to figure out, like, hey, man, I, this, that, I like what this dude's doing, but I don't even know what to ask him for, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I've been in my auto response. I'll tell people, like, don't fucking send me any pictures of other tattoos at all. Like, Tell me what the story is and let me just illustrate that, dude. You know, that's yeah. what works for me. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'll tell them, okay, just so you keep me on the right track, take like three screenshots of the pieces I've done that you like the most and we're good. You know, yeah. if you want to throw an oil painting in there that someone did for some, do that. Don't send me the tattoos because that actually will throw me off more. I'll think, say you send me... A Ben Ochoa tattoo. Now I'm thinking like, fuck, I got to watch Harry Potter, dog. Right, right, right. I got to learn. And he didn't want, he wanted fucking Godzilla. You right, know I mean? right. But, but because you sent that, I'm like up here all screwed yeah. up, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm in this like, re but it's starting to catch now, dude. It's like really starting to get some. No, I here. like that. And I want to break that down for a second because actually I'll do that too. And it works, you know, for people um, like watching this. I, exactly what you said, like. What's kind of, is there a message or theme? Yep. Uh, let's start basic. Is there a message or theme? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe someone like you or me, hopefully there's that understanding of our style. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, cool, I got the theme, I got the message. Now send me some tattoos I've already done that you like. Because, you know, we change it up a little bit. Some are yeah, a little different. I kind of know which avenue right. you want, the scarier right. one. Right, but send me my own tattoos, yeah. you know? Because yeah. if you send me other people's tattoos, I probably know more about them, and it's going to confuse me. It's going to throw me all the right, way. Right, right, Like you yeah. said with Ben Ochoa and the Harry Potter. Exactly that. Um, and they might not understand, like, everything that that artist is about, yeah. right? And they might even be looking at something different. They're like, I, they might be... Some I just like the colors. Like the blue <laughs> yeah. that he used yeah. there. And I'm sitting there looking at the flying snitch. Right. And the dude from up in the background, <laughs> does he like how the orange interacts with the fucking right. blue? And it's yeah, really, right. he just, he likes... I like how it was shaded. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's like, theme, send me some pictures of my own tattoos I like, so I can kind of get the, the style reference. And yeah, the best ever is like, and let me do my thing from there. You know, if you if you want a couple things added, especially if I'm more in like the neo realm, I, I do prefer like maybe some subject matter, mm -hmm. like oh an owl. Okay, cool, that's all I need. Don't tell me anything more about the owl. Yeah. Yeah. Like I got we'll it, go, whatever. Yeah. Just tell me the body part is going on. I'll make it flow. Yeah, and then send me the ones you like. So yeah, I yeah. Know what direction to take said owl, right. dude, and we're good. You know? Right. That's the best though. When people send you like a reference of your own work. Yeah. It's definitely your Well, you gotta encourage your I always I always tell, you know, artists and, and people, like it you're it's your job. You're the artist. Yeah. You know, clients are coming to you because you're the professional. Like don't let them steer the ship. Because most of the time they don't want to. Yeah. You know, I I have heard and you know, maybe it's not everyone, but most of the time the client is coming to you because you're a professional. And they want to follow your lead because they want what you've done, yep. right? So if a client comes in, I'll say, this is how I do things. This is how we get the best results. Most of the time they're happy because it's convenient for them. They don't have to do all this work. Mm -hmm. When they start, when you make them do all this like work and research, like sometimes like, oh, I didn't expect all this. I thought mm -hmm. you're this like amazing tattooer. Yeah. You pretty much do it all. Yep. And then they feel like they just nine it, times out of 10, like even my friends like come in and they're like, well, I have this idea, like, do I have to, like, send this to you or draw something? I'm like, no, I do it all for you. And they're like, yeah. oh, thank God. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, that's what I want. Yeah. You know, I want you to tell me, like, a little story about it, and then let me create a visual based off this story. And I'll even sit down and show you the elements. Like, I chose this because you told me this and the. And sometimes they like that. Like, oh, cool. Because then mm -hmm. they can repeat it to their friends. And it, yeah, they it got makes some it. ill talking points. Too, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when you buy the new car, you're like, bro, you know about those fucking seats, bro? Right, I know right, about the fucking right. seats, dog. <laughs> but that's also, I think, important in um, developing an actual look that's recognizable. When we were saying that's like the key, that's like the breakthrough thing that like, boom, recognizable. Um, 
you won't get that without creating. Right, without right? the you know, Yeah, without, like, uh, having it come from you. That's like um, me and, like, Javi disagree about the, uh, making the entire design in AI because I feel like uh, when you'll do that, you don't know who did it. You just know it's cool. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, and I want you to know, like, no, no, no. That's the brand. Yeah, yeah That's yeah. like, that's what we did, dude, you know? So it's interesting you brought that up. We just had Javi on here. Yeah, I know, I know. We talk all the time. Cool, in, yeah, in, yeah. In, uh, in agreement and disagreement on many things. Yeah, but, and he know? put me on the AI, and I've been using it a lot. I right? use it to pull a reference. Like, uh, I don't want to use... Um, I don't want to use Rihanna's face for a, a chick face anymore, right, right? right? So I'm like, sick. I can generate, you know, with a right. couple tries, I'll generate this sick chick face, and then I'll draw over top. That's of what it. John White did for this one. And I'm tech, so, yeah, I'm yeah. like not great at anything like in that realm. Me neither. You know, like I had them, I needed them to like set the whole Discord up for yeah. me and be like, just type slash imagine. And I, like, I was yeah. like, cool, I got it for you. <laughs> but my friends will be like, my friends will be like, yo, s hook me up with this. And like, I don't even have the ability yeah. to like show them <laughs> how to do it. Do. I'm, I'm on that same level. Yeah. I'm like, here, you dog. can play with it on my phone for right. a couple minutes. So if you want. My, I'm like very like novice, like, you know, intermediate. But what it's doing for me is it's generating unique references. Yes. So like most of the time, the last couple of weeks, like I'm almost using it just like I'd use Pinterest. Exactly. Like I'll grab exactly. like five ai pictures i made and yeah. i'll like put them all together yeah. kind of thing you and know then, you know draw on the connections like we right. would have back in the day whatever right? yeah, yeah yeah but i like that because it's like cool i know no one's used this reference yeah i know that, that and, that's the beautiful part of it now right. i think the slippery slope of it is when you're like i'm gonna make the whole thing right, right from here and you know you, I mean? you can you can i don't know how it. i haven't like oh, got the keywords can, right yeah. or whatever yeah. But can. yeah, it's fucking, it's, it's cool, but it's also tough. Like when the client is giving a lot of like descriptions they need for the tattoo, like I can't get the AI to do that. Exact. Yeah. Like sometimes. too descriptive almost. Right. Yeah. Like I don't even, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it definitely like oh, shit. Has, its got, own, has its own way. You snuck this in here, huh? Sneaky yeah, dude. Yeah, you guys got some shit going on. Over here, dude. <laughs> Anybody sneak? Yeah. No, I totally agree with you. That's like a hundred percent how I've kind of been using it. It's like it's got the advantage of like your Google or your Pinterest, but without. Because remember, it started to get to a point where you're like, oh, dude, he got that girl face from Google yeah. Page Seven, or yeah. like yeah. I know what he typed in on Pinterest yeah. to get that asteroid yeah. fucking thing or whatever, and you're like, man. When it really made sense to me was I Logan when. I, someone asked for, uh, it was either like Zeus or Poseidon. Yeah. And then like I went into the AI and I was like Zeus, Poseidon statue. Yeah. And it gave me one I'd never seen. That's the cool part. Because yeah. there's only yeah. like three Poseidon statues. That's what we were talking about with the tiger. Remember I said I had made it to this level. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I got to do, there's only four pictures of a tiger that's good right. and tattooable. Right. right? And you're like, <laughs> right. You know? Now there's definitely more options in that. Dude. Yeah. 100%. So I was like, this is sick. Mm -hmm. Like there, this Poseidon face did not exist before today. Yes. You know? And then I, and then the real kicker was when I did it for St. Michael. Uh, and I got no a new St. Michael. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> there's cool only one? three yeah, out there. There's now only... there's four. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I know that if you are from New Jersey, you probably have at least one family member and three homies you grew up with that have a St. Michael tattoo. Yeah, of course, yeah. bro. I, I almost, that's that's another one that I beat the brakes off of, dude, yeah. where I, like, I was like, I can't do right. another androgynous angel killing this devil again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Like, you know? Yeah, bro. You know? it was uh it was interesting so it that part is is pretty cool you know what i mean the um and like you said that's literally exactly how i'm using it and yeah. sometimes like it'll kind of fuck up like a chick sure. eyeball and i'm like i kind of like it yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Like, i kind of think it's kind of cool yeah. let me grab that now yeah. and fuck with it more like oh she's got the dead eye well maybe that needs to be a dead eye with some fucking ruckus around here and bro it, and then like you know, my mind starts going crazy. So, like, I'm building a shop down the road. And, like, in the shop, we have, we're going to have a bar. Oh, tight. Um, you know, for, like, beer and fucking wine or whatever. Uh, I had the AI design me a bar. Stop, dude. Let me so, this is, this is the bar. Yeah, I'd sit there, dude. 
right, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking but like I was like there, tweaking dog, it know? and like playing with different stuff and and giving me like different looks and messing with the chaos and whatever. But I was like, and my so my dad's an architect, so you could probably just send him that, and he'll yeah, be like, bro. got it. No well, problem. and then I'm now I'm trying to show him to use it, and he's like, this is this is wild, crazy. Like it could just be used everywhere, mm -hmm. you know. And then like I made the mistake of showing my girl it, right? <laughs> and then she's, you know, I have a white dog, so I just am in the feed, and I just see like girl with white dog, girl with white dog, <laughs> making all these fucking pictures. They're of like her super and my simple explanations yeah. too. They're nothing. <laughs> Like three words. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to make pictures of like her and her mom together. I'm just like blowing up my whole feed with it. Yeah, but one thing she did do that was kind of cool that I didn't even think of is she had this 80s party to go to. Mm -hmm. Like that was a theme, the 80s. Yeah. So she had to design an 80s outfit for her. Probably make it right on there. And, right. and, Dude, and yeah. run a bunch of iterations and be like, I like that belt. That, yeah, you know, bro. And then yeah. she just went to a thrift store and got shit that looked Made like this, it. Yeah, and I was like, sick. that's smart. Yeah. I was like, I didn't even know you're smart. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> See, I got the opposite problem. I, I know my wife is smarter than me. She's like legitimately educated. She's no, got, I know mine is too, bro. But, but my wife's, but even at my job. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go explain on. to you what I mean. So yeah. she is like two credits shy of a master's in art history. Gotcha. Like literally. Gotcha. And uh, I remember it's I was intimidating. It probably <laughs> right? it's horrible. Dude. Yeah. So like uh I remember the um uh years ago it was like the Walking Dead was still cool. Yeah. So she wanted me to do and I was trying color for like the one of the earlier times, right. right? A zombie from the Walking Dead, right? On her leg, you know, yeah. that's back when you did portraits that big, right? So uh I'm like, okay, I dip in like some green, purple, and something else. I was like, Yep, that's zombie skin. She's like, You don't even know the reason why you did that. She's like, and what are you doing? That like, would freak like, me out. She's like, you don't even know how you made that color. You're just guessing. And I was like, when you're dope, you're dope, bitch. I didn't need to read no yeah. books, dude. And that, <laughs> I'm a natural. Yeah, that yeah. shit went like a brick through the window, dog. <laughs> yeah. Not cool, dude. Mega not cool, dog. <laughs> And I, we would have, like, back when we were younger, we'd have, like, those petty arguments. We're, like, in our late 20s. And I'm yeah. like, Shh, I didn't need to go to no fucking school. They threw me out of art school. Now you do my right. bookings. You know what I mean? Like, that shit was the yeah. wrong fucking move, dude. dude. You know That's what I mean? That's fucking savage. Like, when you think about it, though, I should be blessed that I have someone that knows that much about yeah. art that is helping me build this process. And I don't think if I was married to someone else that I would have gotten my career to steer into where I'm like, I'm having fun at work now. Yeah. You know, 80% of the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's fucking amazing, bro. You know what I mean? Bro, and you know, it's going to come out good when you're stoked, right? Two or three years ago, maybe three or four years ago, I was at some shop and they really understood art, mm -hmm. right? Like the breakdown. And I was like listening to them talk. And I remember feeling weird because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And I like, couldn't really, be included in the conversation. Yeah. I had nothing to, to give. And like being a black and gray artist, I really did not understand um, like light and shadow. Mm. Like I, I knew how to like make it look, but I didn't know why. Yeah. You know, I didn't know why those things were there. Yeah. yeah. And I, st and you know, like I humbled myself enough to like ask this tattooer that was a younger tattooer. Like if you would send me some videos or like show me shit to look at. Yeah. 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 And I can't even tell you like how much it helped. And oh, I mean, maybe dude. total like three, four hours on YouTube. Bro, you, you know, watch a couple no, of Proko Penko yeah, videos, dude. Nothing crazy, You're bro. Instantly, way better. And dude. like, I felt like embarrassed. Like, oh, I didn't know like this. You know, cast shadow is supposed to be like this different value and compared to this or like the underglow, whatever. And, like, understanding, like, why that happened and, like, how the light was bouncing and, and whatever. It makes you quicker, too. N yeah, not only that, like, someone like me and, and I, I'm assuming, like, you as well, like, we're creating these these custom pieces mm -hmm. and we're making decisions in the tattoo. Yeah. That's really where I saw it improve. Oh, like, dude, 100%. You know, it's like, patching together all these, like, references and, and understanding how it, to add the light source in there. Yeah. Like, okay, first deciding where my light source is and then the shadows it create, what, where the light reflection should be and, like, making it up as I go. And now it's my favorite part. Yeah. Like, when I'm it's done, like, adding part. all the shadows. Yep. You know, whether it's on, like, um, you know, like, feathers in, in a wing or, like, 
in in a face like under the nose and the mm-hmm. eyes and, and whatever something floating above something yeah yeah yeah, yeah, That's yeah, like yeah when you're like yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. dog that i'll even like use my dissolve. machine and i'll be like that's where it should go, you know, Dude, whatever. Yeah, no, yeah. really. I mean, you would do that in a drawing, though. I'll, 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 like, make an eye measurement and use, like, my pencil or yeah. something, dude. The, um, it's interesting you say that because uh, I made uh, up my mind that during COVID, because we were up in um, southern Delaware, like, like I said, by Ocean City, Maryland. Sure. You know this area. Yeah. Right? Uh, Fenwick Island, all this. And, um, you know, it was, like, a pretty serious lockdown up there. Like, my shop yeah. was, my, my studio owned was closed for uh, four months. Right. So I was like, you know what? My son has to do this online school. While he goes to school, I ordered a, uh, a pretty serious anatomy book. And I said, while he's doing his schoolwork, I'm going to sit and do every fucking exercise in this book and, like, get stronger yeah. at it, right? If, I don't care how corny it looks. Yeah. Drawing a fucking cool. sphere or whatever, right, yeah, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, bro, I got a lot fucking better and crazy more confident, right? Yeah. And then now I got a little sketchbook I roll with all the time, and every single day I try to draw something for an hour in it. Yeah. Like, if I'm taking a shit, maybe I'll bust That's it cool, out man. there, you know? I might actually, I'm going to do that. You just said that. I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. Like, order some it's, books, and, and I try not to draw shit that I'll even tattoo, but it ends up becoming shit like, I would fuck kind of yeah, want to tattoo yeah, this yeah, dog, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, the confidence is so fucking key, though. Key you know, and when you don't know this stuff, it is hard to be confident. And it's also, like, hard to approach the customer, like, with that heavy dick swag, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you've been drawing this motherfucker yeah. like crazy, dude, and the person comes in, they're like, yeah, man, are you sure about that centipede right there? Like, bitch, I do centipedes in my sleep. Right, cool. Like, right. You know what I mean? They're like, like run it. Want, Show them the sketchbook. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, what yeah. do you got, dude, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and then, like, because I think we're entering this area now where I feel like that um, hand-drawn and uh, free-handed, at least elements in a tattoo, is going to increase the value yeah of it like remember when true religion jeans were big yeah do you know why they were 400 bucks <laughs> no because they were stitched by hand gotcha the only thing that made right. them value is a person did it not a machine right yeah and i think we're seeing that now like we were saying outside you know um the middle is full of a lot of incredibly uh talented execution so on like the yes. spectrum of tattooers, you're saying there's like a bottom end, a high end, and the middle. So yes. that's what you're referring the to. Middle the middle is big, yeah. Right. The mid and the middle is very big, and there's a lot of a lot of um, a lot of talent there, but it's um, it's missing the confidence, right, uh, to push it to that next level to get in that whatever top uh, move towards that yeah. top percentage of uh, artists, and then the extra swag is like you're like yeah, bro. Sit down. I got these three color Sharpies, dog. And they're yeah. just like, all right, sick. And then they, they know for sure that no one else has anything like this. Yeah. Or if you're doing like um, a Brandon or an e Diablo or a Miguel Camarillo, you're like, no, no, I'm giving you this brand of a look and you know, but I made this one just for you. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I think- Which in, is in pretty the, cool. It's fucking mm-hmm. cool, yeah. dude. It's super fucking yeah. cool. Like Robert Hernandez tattooed me back in the day. And this fool took a, you know, uh, a metal tube. Do, do you yeah, tattoo yeah. in them days? Uh, he took a metal tube. He had put a Kappa Dynamic out. This bitch dipped the tube in the Kappa Dynamic and made three dots on my arm. He's like, it's good. It's like, I fucking guess, dog. Yeah. And did the whole thing from nothing, like little miniature skulls and shit from nothing, yeah. bro. Like, and this thing's, I think, 11 years yeah, old yeah. or something. But, uh, and I remember being like, holy shit, dude. And I remember like, Going back to my boys, like, oh, yeah, you're fucking bitch-ass artist. Use a stencil, dog. <laughs> Let me show you the three dots. <laughs> Let me show you that three-dot work, dude. You know what I mean? Like, But it, it's, like, another thing, too, dude. And, like, because um, I think, you know, uh, tattooing, uh, just like um, fine art, like, the field is so big and flooded, right? Yeah. And you're, like, what's a way that I can get my shit out there, have it look unique, and not look like a cornball. You know what yeah. I mean? Like where I don't got to be like prostituting myself with right, some right. sort of thing, right? How can I be me and have some integrity still and still sell the shit? Well, I think the only answer is it just takes some work yeah. and exploring and like, you know, like not being closed-minded to AI, but not right. leaning on it like a crutch, right? Right, like, right, right? And like not being opposed to drawing or or admitting like, hey, man, maybe I'm lazy. Maybe yeah. I should stop doing that, you know, like. Uh, instead of this Netflix binge, I can spend 30 minutes. 
you know, a couple times a week sketching or, right. you know, whatever the case is, dude. But I, I think that's going to be a big selling point moving forward. You know what I mean? I, I agree. And, like, for, you know, for any artist that, like, feels like they're in the middle and, like, what I got from what you just said is you got to find that thing that's going to separate you. Yep. Now, that's a term that we've heard all the time and might kind of fall on deaf ears. Like, yeah, I know, I know, but, like, how do I do that? And I, th I think you just said it. You said it, you know, earlier in the podcast when you said, you know, take some time to figure out who you are and, like, what art you're going to project, mm -hmm. right? The other part is, like, maybe you're being lazy in some areas. You know, are you willing to put the work in to find that thing that will differentiate and then like chasing that thing yeah. and like, how do I, you know, how do I chase that thing? I practice, you know, I buy books. I do this, this, uh, you said, you know, you're doing the, what's it called? The examples or the practice exercises, exercises in the book. Um, and like sticking with that, you know, I got to find that thing that's different. And like, rather than like forcing it, like maybe look inside and be like, you know what, this really inspires me. And, like, maybe you don't think it's going to be this thing that explodes. But That's like you'll, when it's going to be the thing, though. Right, because Whatever we love the it. the corniest shit about yeah. you is, dude, the shit that you, with, especially with the internet now, dude, whatever's a thing, like, dude, if you had told me 10 years ago that there would be grown men getting anime sleeves, dude, I would have been like, no fucking way, dude. Yeah. But look at that. that is, that's a, a, a niche thing. That there's just so many people that love it, dude, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and whatever you're into with the internet and the reach, like right. and all the different social media, dude. There is your tribe is out there. There's right. airplanes. There's social media, right? And there's booking in advance, dude. You're you're good, yeah. If you go for that and take a year to three years maximum of your life, your whole shit will change, right? A hundred percent. And like what you one know? thing you said, you did. I definitely have done it. Tattoo the homies, Yep. you know, give some price breaks like, hey, you know, any clients out there looking to just get whatever, you know, for a discounted rate, I have some new ideas I want to try. Only post those things and see how it goes. Yep. Worst thing that happens is nothing changes. Worst thing that know? happens is you got some tattoos that made you happy and hung out with your friend. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> right. To me, that's great. Yeah. You know, because I could go work at Amazon in the office and never even get to be with a one homie. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and never be fulfilled, dude. Yeah. So, you can't wear and alien I, and shorts. And I got paid a little bit too. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, fuck. I like yeah. put a little food on the table, right. dog. I got to feel fulfilled, dude. I need to tell you about Allegory's new Ultra Black. This stuff is dark, maybe even darker than my childhood. It is amazing for lining, shading, and even blackouts. And I know a thing or two about black and out. You got to check this stuff out on allegoryinc.com. Use discount code UNEMPLOYABLE for 20% off. Again, go to allegoryinc.com, check out their new Ultra Black, and use discount code UNEMPLOYABLE for 20% off. I want Real quick, we always review a product. What you got? You know what we got? What is that, Cam? <sighs> Pound of flesh, Cam brought baby. this from home, <laughs> from his room. <laughs> You know. He's got a, but yeah, they just always throw throw us products. And just, fetish. <laughs> have you tattooed one of these, dude? I'm like scared too because I'm like still traumatized from them rubbery fake skins back in like oh yeah. wait, dude. Remember these that? are definitely dude. better, but like I feel like it would it's be still not sick good to like work on it. How I work on a painting, right? Yeah, like all yeah. right, I'm tired right now. I, they, well, because it is display a, it, it at your station. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, that's and like cool you part. can like rock it at like a convention or like showing people. Like, people, yeah, what you could do, essentially. Yeah. I noticed that at the convention, like, people had, like, their work tattooed on these things just chilling at their table. Yeah, it's well, almost like a little trophy. Yeah. What, what I remember is one of the pieces that uh, actually got me to book with my homemade Dimitri Vision back in the day was one of the earlier when it was just the hand. And he did this skull on there that, like, no client at that time would have been, like, yeah, it totally makes sense what you want to do on my fucking hand. Right, right. But since he did it on there, dude, it blew up, dude. People were getting shit like that in their hands all the time. Because yeah. now they like sick. physically see it. He said it was it. a little bit of a pain. Yeah, they could fit. They could hold yeah, it's it. Like, it's so much it. different than a portfolio book. It's like 100%. now you're holding my fucking. Tattoo. And you can see if they like roughed a motherfucker up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, shit looks a little. Yeah, like, you can right. tell if like suit, it gets dude, carved you know? in there. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh yeah, this one's done. Yeah. Adrian's. And I feel like if you can rough. do it on there, you could probably do it on skin. 
Oh right? yeah, this has a little bit of resistance. I'd now. say it's harder. It's it's, it's different. It's harder like to tattoo these. It, things? It's hard in its own way. I don't think it's harder than skin. It's its own thing. The skin is harder because you got a crying client, a crying. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> crying. And like you can or... sink this shit. Like. It and you're not like, gonna blow it out or like hold just a bold ass line. You would know? you would you agree like, that the ink kind of like puddles a little bit more on these? Yeah, because it's not as like absorbent. It's, as like it's skin, not absorbent at all, which like, I like. Yeah. Like you, you know, can literally like ointment it once and wipe like five times. Or still but it's hard to get what a stencil on there, right? Yeah, the st- you got to let a stencil dry for like 24 hours yeah, at I minimum. Heard that shit. It's at like minimum, hours are like two yeah. days even. I would even if you're doing like realism, two days. Like if you're doing something with lines, you can bang through the lines real quick. Yeah. But like a realism, you got to let it sit on there for a while. Do you have apprentices? No, I don't. I don't even want any, dude. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah like if I do, I, I want it to be one of my kids. Yeah. If if I do. Reason I asked is because, like, when I learned to tattoo, like, we were tattooing, like, grapefruit and bananas. Yep, and I shit. did that. You did that? Yeah, okay. Day. Fucking And, orange, like, I, you know? like, a lot of, I see, like, a lot of people doing this now, which I, like, when I, well, like, mentor, I don't do that. I'm just kind of, like, you know, like, Logan's going through it right now. Like, we're doing line drawings with wooden pencils, yep. you know, to, like, practice depth and, and, you know, line consistency and whatever, and, like, over and over and over and over. And then even though I did the fruit, I don't I do not do that. You know, I'm just like, yo, we're going to do a silhouette on a real person, you yeah. know? And, like, you're going to do your shitty line work, and then we're going to cover it with the black. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you can kind of see what you did. Like, okay, are we improving? Are we not? How do we do? And now cover it all up with the black. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the safest r- route I, I've seen. Sure, a lot of the guys like do tattoo these, but I don't know if I would like ever incorporate it really into the learning process. No, like, I think this is more for like me and you to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or like to say you're going to uh, some city you don't have a big following in. Throw three of these in your travel bag right. with sick designs. People are going to yeah. stop at least. Right. And I, then you're like, hey. Yeah, I think it so happens I could do one of these real right. quick, you know? For younger people, I think they're good for, like, helping them get comfortable with the machine. Okay. Like, yeah, not so much it, right? the tattoo part. The yeah, like, just, just like, actually, and... like, tattooing, like, an, an arm. You know, you're basically mm-hmm. getting, like... You know, oh, you're, you're having a weird hand place. Yeah, like all that yeah. stuff. I think this is like great for like comfortability within that. Mm-hmm. You know, like you throw this on an armrest, you tape it to the armrest, and you go at it. I think well, it's that's like what they had me a, do. They had me tape a grapefruit to an armrest, so I had to yeah you know, do it like this. And then you know, as Elizabeth, they threw me to the wolves. I tattooed a couple crackheads with right. the style. What you're Skedaddle. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything we wanted to say in closing on this one? Or no. Cool, man. I think yeah. we covered a wide gamut of stuff, dude. Yeah. You just appreciate to... being here, yeah. dude. Yeah, for you sure. You could do the Patreon with us too if you're if you got time. I mean I'm off today, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> do you wanna you wanna give us a closing out? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode. Uh, uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at, at Sean underscore boy. <laughs> Dan, you have all links in description. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unapoyable Podcast. Money try to get yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us on today's episode of Unemployable Podcast. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>